mud bit on the wells tank. Nothing much has changed. The wells is probably about three feet now, maybe even longer. Still surprisingly calm in this narrow, way too narrow for a tank, which is only two feet wide. He uh, takes about a large fish, maybe every day, every other day, and a bunch of pellets, good appetite, good demeanor. As I said before, I'd be happy to put it in the 4500 gallon, but his brother was killed there when it was about a foot, maybe 16 inches, and I don't know who killed it. And this is my last wells, and they're federally prohibited now, so I really don't want to lose it. And I'm waiting until I glue together a couple of larger tanks to rehome this one. I think this one is going to go into a prospective 6,000 gallons. That's the story, that's why it's in a, such a small tank. But as I said, from the appetite and demeanor, I think it's relatively happy so far. And I have already got the materials and the glue for the tank. I'll, I'll get on it soon. The black ear shark catfish is no changes has developed a good appetite when I rehome it I'm gonna remove that uh, blister from under the eye that it rubbed that the fish rubbed uh, it, it gotten it itself by rubbing on the on the glass initially when I put it here as you can see when the African tiger fish or whoever bit off the dorsal fin the main spine did not grow back as it should have. It's been about a year now. And the upper lobe of the caudal is also a little bit messed up and smaller than this than the lower lobe. So this damage has been permanent on this fish in this circumstance. There's nothing much to say about the pleco. He's hanging there just cleaning the tank and enjoying itself. When I turn the light on, they both don't like it, because I rarely turn it on. The shark catfish tries to hide under under the whale's catfish, and uh, the whale doesn't like it, of course, doesn't let it. But that that's the uh, source of their current discomfort, the light. When I have it on uh, many, many hours a day, I think they will get used to it. But for now, with the intermittent use of light, it always stresses them out, just like the rest of my tanks. None of them like the light because it's unusual, and fish don't like unusual. Fish really need stable, never-changing environment to stay stress-free. At least in that regard. Thank you for watching, guys.